In the realm of football, some stories transcend the ordinary and plunge into a world of wild passion, breathtaking chaos and unparalleled glory. But what if this tale also included plastic penises and enough Class A drugs to make your head spin? This is the riveting saga of Diego Maradona and his unforgettable adventure with Napoli. Diego Maradona, the enigmatic football genius, arrived in Naples in 1984, seeking redemption after a tumultuous stint with Barcelona. Rumours spread that he had fallen in with a party-loving crowd of coke enthusiasts. Despite the scandal, the people of Naples were hopelessly infatuated with their new footballing idol. Diego's transfer to Napoli faced obstacles, prompting desperate measures from fans who staged hunger strikes and chained themselves to the stadium gates. Napoli rallied and organised street collections to raise the necessary funds. Maradona's magnetic presence had captured the hearts of an entire city. However, a dark association with the local mafia began to take shape. Diego was photographed relaxing in a jacuzzi with Luigi Giuliano, a powerful don of a Camorra clan. Rumours swirled that Maradona smuggled cocaine-stuffed footballs from Argentina, Meanwhile, his personal battle with drug addiction intensified. Amidst off-field chaos, Maradona's genius flourished on the pitch. He led Argentina to World Club glory in 1986 and guided Napoli to their first Serie A title the following season. The city erupted in celebrations, with street parties lasting for days. Diego's demigod status was solidified. As Maradona's relationship with Napoli soured, Drugs became a constant presence. Diego admitted they were brought to him with ease, even resorting to using a fake penis to fool drug tests. His recklessness reached new heights when he indulged in a massive cocaine binge before a crucial UEFA Cup game, missing his flight but eventually arriving at Red Square. In 1990s, tensions escalated as Maradona declared, Naples is not Italy, fueling North versus South animosity during the World Cup semi-finals against Italy. With the support of Napoli Ultras, Diego scored the winning penalty, leaving Italy shattered. As the dream of a home World Cup win crumbled, the Italian press turned on Maradona, unleashing a torrent of hatred. La Repubblica even conducted a survey, asking readers to vote for history's most despised figure. Surrounded by dictators, murderers and war criminals, Maradona emerged as the undisputed winner, bearing the weight of Italy's wrath. But fate had more turmoil in store for Diego. Caught on tape ordering prostitutes through his mafia connections, he found himself arrested for drug possession. Further revelations surfaced, recounting tales of wild cocaine fueled orgies. Then, after a game against Barry, Maradona faced a fatal drug test. With his plastic contraption exposed, he had no choice but to surrender a sample. The results painted a disturbing picture, enough cocaine in his urine to vanquish a polar bear. As a consequence, he was banned from football for 15 agonising months. In the dead of night, understanding that his reign as the King of Naples had come to a close, Diego escaped back to Buenos Aires. However, he remained etched in the collective memory of the city he once electrified, Murals celebrating the Argentine icon adorned the streets, and upon his untimely death, Napoli honoured his legacy by renaming their stadium the Stadio Diego Armando Maradona.